If you've been to the grocery store in the last couple days, you've most certainly seen long lines. So we asked American Red Cross, what should you grab at the store so that you're prepared for this snowstorm? Milk, bread, the basics, diapers, but take some time too to prepare yourself for this weekend and the potential of a bad snowstorm. You know, find your flashlights, get extra blankets together, make sure you have everything you might need if you lose power or you're stranded at home for a few days so you're not scurrying around in the dark trying to find things. For fire stations in the area, winter is the busiest time of year. It's because people often use alternative heating sources to help bear the dropping temperatures. But these can sometimes be fire hazards if not used with caution. So we reached out to the Moline Fire Department for some advice about how to keep yourself and your family safe. They, they will have their electric heater going and they have it too close to curtains or if they have too, too much uh, clothing piled up next to it, they, they get red hot and they can you know, generate plenty of heat to start a fire. Do not want to have open flames in homes. Um, the other thing is people use portable heaters at this time of the year um, to try to keep it warm. Um, we would recommend that they get the ones that tip over, that they have the switch, the kill switch if they tip over. And if the power goes out, Moline Fire Department recommends turning off all the lights in the house except for the one that's closest to you. This will help prevent a power surge. And that way also when the power comes back on, the lights that are closest to you will come on. The fire department also stressed smoke detectors. Make sure your smoke detectors are working. They come with two buttons, a hush button and a test button. So try both of them. If the alarm doesn't make a noise after both buttons are pressed, then you need to change the batteries or your smoke detector isn't working. Sharon?